Okay, so am I like tripping? Am I just not hearing shit or seeing shit correctly? Am I not tapped in with what's really going on? Being outside in the mainstream world? Or is like hip hop music, rap music as a whole kind of dry of 2023? speaking i don't know could be me but i mean let's kind of get into it and i'll show you what i'm talking about now let me elaborate on this a little bit um of course there's always good music being put out uh this you know anywhere from the underground to even shit that's you know kind of in the middle of the underground and the mainstream and, you know, people talking about it, some people, it's like an if you know, you know thing. Um, I'm just referring to someone with an undeniable smash hit, like a number one mainstream that people are just going crazy for and they're like dominating and running shit. Uh, I feel like we're not really getting that this year because the past years, you know, we, we've had our fair share of artists who have done that. So I just feel this is something that we haven't experienced in a while. So, I mean, let's, let's just take a look here. Let's like actually see now this is before I get into this, this is hip hop, by the way, hip hop rap, not R and B, not pop. It's just straight bars, straight hip hop uh, rap. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a look right here. We see the 2023, uh, now, this is my personal opinion, but to a certain extent, this is just true to how popular it is and everything. Um, now, first one I see that stands out, um, the Jack Harlow album. Now, I don't care what any of y'all say. Harlow, he, he got some he got some shit, man. He got some fire, you know what I'm saying? But this album and... I don't think he was trying to get a smash, of course. He was just going back to his roots and everything. But that didn't, like, make a diving impact or have, like, a like a, like a a smash hit or anything. But he, he wasn't even trying to do that. Now, Young Nudie, he dropped the album Gumbo. That was fire. Young Nudie's fire. But, you know, same thing. Didn't really make, like, a crazy impact. Glaucoma was fire. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh now, there was some other good ones. Shout out Conway the Machine, Alchemist. That's kind of like if you know, you know thing. Um, yeah. And, you know, shout out Greedo. Trippy Red. I respect him as an artist, you know, but didn't really make like a crazy impact. The only album on here where I'm like, dang, this had potential, I feel, sonically, to be a smash hit where... If there's at least one song on the radio. It's going crazy. Everybody's talking about it, uh, which is just because it's a all around, just very well put together, flawless album was that Don Tolliver loves sick. Man, if you haven't listened to that, I would suggest listening to it. There are no skips on that bitch. <laughs> but that was a great one. He's the only one this year I feel like that has potential to be that artist that I'm trying to talk about right now That's that we're missing. But yeah, dude, there's just nothing of this year, which is kind of crazy. Now, which is interesting, Billboard itself has made a article saying five reasons 2023 has yet to yield a number one hip hop album or single. So it's an album or single. Nothing has uh hit number one yet and usually it does they said uh if you i'm not going to go too much into the article but they said last year was a good year you know 2022 had six different rappers all hit number one with their albums gunna ds4 Lil dirk tyler the creator call me if you get lost push your t future kendrick you know jack harlow drake the heavy hitters so yeah it's just kind of interesting when you look at it uh from this perspective uh now don't get it twisted 
if our heavy hitters, you know, like our Kendrick, Cole, Drake, even, you know, uh, even like Tyler, the creator or a future, even hmm, maybe Dirk, little, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to keep them out of this actually because they, they just dropped. It didn't go number one. It sold well, but what I'm trying to say, if our heavy hitters, I'm going to just put like, I'm going to put like, honestly, who, who have very, very, very good potential to hit a number one at this current moment. You know, the Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Future, Tyler Creators. You, you get my gist, like in that realm. If they really wanted to make a, even I put 21 Savage in there too. If they really wanted to make a number one album or a number one single, the right, you know, people, money, budget, whatever, they can do that. But they haven't. So it leaves kind of this like open table to where, you know, are they just like taking a break from it or some of them like kind of cooking up, preparing to just like fuck the game up. So... Because, you know, of course, Drake can pop out any moment, drop a number one. So, I mean, this kind of just leads to, like, newer rappers who aren't necessarily heavy hitters to come in and kind of just make a splash, like, go on a crazy run, just become the hottest thing out. But nobody is doing that, which is also the main point of this video. It's just, it's interesting. And you know there's hella rappers out here who are trying to do it, like it's not easy and nothing's just like hitting nothing's hitting nobody's making like a splash or an impact so i'm like asking this question is the game like kind of needing something new ne needing something fresh needing something to hit the scene where it's like whoa this person's flow their delivery these beats it's crazy and it, it's just undeniable and it's also like a hit. Like, I think, are we like getting into this transition where we're like maybe starting a new phase, which I would be so proud of and hyped for? Because my thoughts, and maybe like this is an open ended question like, is the game getting kind of tired of the, uh, just the, that basic kind of, I, I mess with these people, but like, you know, that like basic street, just like, you know, like the money bag yo's, the young boys, the little babies, the dirks. Like, are we are we kind of getting tired of that? And, and is something new going to make an impact? Only thing I can think close that's coming to this is like, you know, maybe this uh, destroy lonely cat or, you know, this uh, Ken Carson, they, they're making noise. So maybe that might be the new wave. That would be fire because they're bringing something kind of fresh, new. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking. So, but I feel like what I'm saying is not that far fetched. So it's interesting. Now, one person or a few technically. Now, a couple people who I have not mentioned yet, which definitely deserve to be mentioned, of course, who I feel who's not like brand new, who's still in like kind of our last era, who have the potential to kind of break this cycle of 2023 being completely dead is our goats, either Cardi, Playboy Cardi that is, or Lil Uzi. Now, I'm waiting to see how this uh, supposed uh, pink tape, Lil Uzi is supposed to be dropping this year. I'm seeing if he's going to have another hit on his hands with this one, or he might not even be trying to, but I'm, I'm patiently waiting to see what's going to happen. Cause he might have his, you know, his next, um, I just want to rock and that could just, you know, go crazy. And then he'll end this streak, the cycle of nobody having a number one, or of course, Cardi supposedly saying he drops, he's going to drop, but you know how that goes. We might not get it to 2025 or something, but we're still going to put him in there. Cause if Cardi drop, something's going to hit. But, you know, he might just be on another whole wave on some, like, crazy shit where it's not mainstream appeal. But you get my drift. And one last artist who I feel 
may have a you know number one hit on their hands if and when they drop, but it's very controversial. You know, you probably know what I'm going to say here. Uh, Travis Scott. Supposedly, he's dropping his Utopia album. Now, I looked it up. It's somewhere in June, which is this month. But, you know, June's kind of wrapping up here. So that's probably going to maybe get pushed back. But, you know, who knows? But um, I'm actually very interested to see how this is going to perform, how it's going to do post, you know, Astro World, even though it's been a year and some change. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong on that. So that's another interesting one. Definitely, definitely get updates on that. I want to hear y'all opinions of this. What do y'all think? Who's making a splash right now? Who's on the come up? Who's going to be doing something crazy? Who has the potential to have a number one other than the heavy hitters? Y'all let me know.